Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gorgoni here. Can you believe it? We are at week 13. I think I actually said in the week 12 video that we're at week 13. That's how much I want us to be at break. The end of the semester. Can't you guys feel it? It's there. It's like a reality now. We're close. We're getting there. And what that means is that we've been working hard. We've been doing what we're supposed to be doing. And we're, uh, we're getting there. We're doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, I know, uh, especially now that things are getting cold, you know, it's harder to wake up, harder to get out of bed, it's harder to log in, it's harder to get your work done, the nights are longer, the days are shorter, you're not in school, in a classroom school, it's hard, it's tough, we're in a rough situation, and um, there's no way to sugarcoat it, we got to we got to deal with the situation we're in, and we got to make the best of it. Um, the pandemic is probably going to get worse, ladies and gentlemen. If you've been paying attention to the news, um, outside of the election, of course, if you've been paying attention to COVID rates, they are rising really fast. We're almost at levels before the summer. And we knew this was going to happen. We knew this was a possibility. This is one of the major reasons why we're not in the classroom right now. Because we knew that this was probably going to happen as soon as things started to get cold. As soon as things started to push people inside, indoors a little bit more. So that means you got to double your efforts. Redouble your efforts. And I know you're tired. I know you're frustrated. But we have to be aware that COVID is not it's not over and in fact we're probably going to have a difficult winter here the rates are going to rise um, i hope they don't rise out of control i hope they don't rise so fast that hospitals get overflowed um, but we can do our best to do our part to make sure that we support the medical professionals in these hospitals and um, we do that by social distancing we do that by staying in our homes like we're doing. We do that by not going into a classroom. We do that by um, being careful if we have to go out and work. And we do the best we can. And that's really all we can ever do. And I know you're doing that. So I want to commend you for what you're doing. And I'm going to ask you to keep it up. We're, um, we're not coming back this semester into the classroom, guys. I wish we were, but like I said, the coronavirus is running rampant again, and we can't go back in the classroom. So, that being said, let's finish up this semester strong. Let's make this week the week that we turn things around, if that's what you need to do. If you're already doing well, if you've already been keeping it strong, keep it up. We're almost there. We have two weeks, and then we get a whole week off. Then we're back for a couple weeks, and then we're done. That's it. There's not much more left, ladies and gentlemen. So let's bear down. Let's get our, um, our feet ready to go. Our hands ready to go. Our brains ready to go. And let's do this. Okay, if you need anything from me, let me know. Please email me. Come into my office hours. Otherwise, I'll see you in class. You guys are amazing. Keep it up, all right, ladies and gentlemen?